Pisces, welcome. Doing your singles read. This is for December 2021. A year and a month, maybe. That will surely live in infamy. Uh, but here I'm doing a little different singles read. I'm calling it Tarot Story Time. Using eight cards. But instead of doing the read, the soulmate read, which describe your soulmate, I'm going to start with you. I'm finding that helps me more and kind of get a track on you and uh, look at some mm, span of your life. Uh, we'll see what comes up when I pull the cards. I don't pull all of them at once when I do this reading. Give me a minute to think about it. I'll try to tell a story of what you've been going through. And then the last two cards should reveal uh, the future outcome. Um, hopefully, it'll be a person for you here. We'll see if there is. Then we'll get an idea what they may be like. Okay, so again, we're going to kind of go with the emotional moon. Um, similar to what I call the four pillars and the star. Hmm. Major Arcana. And this is the emotional, intellectual, love, and uh, sex aspects and lifestyle core values. Um, same as I look at with the singles read for Meet the Soulmate. Queen of Pentacles in the intellectual position. And I'll show you the cards again as we go along. Four Swords. Um, and we've got the Lovers. Hmm. In the uh, uh, love and sexual position. And the Eight of Cups. Interesting uh, combination there. Uh, a lot of emotions here. And the Eight of Wands is in lifestyle and core values. And the Nine of Wands. Wow, lifestyle core values. So, um, before I say there's a fire sign, a fire sign in your future, give me a second, take a look at this. Um, major kind of there, in terms of where you started, and the Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. So, I'm trying to get a beat, first of all, where you started. The moon card can be a Pisces card. It can indicate Pisces energy. Um, the moon and the star. You know, a lot of Pisces have Aquarius energy, obviously. Uh, uh, personal planets could be easily there. Mercury, Mars, or Venus. That could be relevant. Particularly with you got Saturn in. Um, Jupiter rolling through Aquarius right now um, and next year Jupiter is going to race uh, through Pisces too um, so be a lot of uh, potential connections there looking at your astrology in this so I'm an astrologer too um, so I think there's an emphasis there whatever Aquarius is in your chart you know, I don't know what your rising sign is sixth house for me it's all kind of about uh, six house uh, transits routine daily routines help so it's going to be more based upon the house energy there um, I think this is the near past uh, this is showing you uh, a lot of times this goes all the way back to childhood or to adolescence especially I see it starting but I kind of get the feeling this is all kind of recent for you and you're manifesting and with the star and the moon i'll show them together if we could see those well um you're having trouble with it and emotionally there's something about your manifestation that's probably not working um, it has to do with this moon energy which is you know the things that are hidden from us um, emotionally that we don't see. I'm trying to clarify this with the magician. We're definitely dealing with clarification with the manifestation. We've got like the two strong manifestation cards here to me. Hope, dreams, wishes, and the magician. That's Mercury. That's uh, even more looking like. I wonder, do you have an Aquarius Mercury? That's astrology. One of the first things I picked up on is everybody I dealt with that had an Aquarius Mercury, Mercury had a really good mind, a really capable mind. You know, not necessarily I'm saying everyone's a genius, to have that, but it seems like they have a mind that can focus a fixed air and accomplish whatever they need to do with their mind. 
um, that could be relevant. Um, but wow, manifestation. Um, so you're trying to manifest, and we've got that. I think what's going on, uh, when I look at the magician, kind of clarify both of those. Um, there's an aspect of manifestation to me, which I call a walk away. And I think the two things. One, when we manifest, I don't really think it's about just thinking like, you know, I want wealth, I want health, I want love. If we're in, if we feel unworthy, if we feel unlovable, that's what the universe picks up on. So I think that might be what's going on here. I think like you're someone who has a really good handle on what you want. And you might be they very well, if this is your reading, I got to say you are actively manifesting. You're doing whatever that means for you in terms of uh, manifesting, you know, uh, whatever techniques you're using. But I mean, there's some techniques. But I think like at the same time that you're doing it, the way you feel about it is that you just feel lonely. Uh, this is love relationship reading. So I'm going to go that way with it. Um, you know, uh, could be the energy of uh, um, not feeling good enough, uh, not feeling deserving, the lack mentality and that kind of thing. This could be a little subtle, you know. And so I think there's like this element of the walk away uh, where you, you do your manifestation and you kind of turn away from it, try to not purposely not focus on it and try to move into um, your own energy, whatever that is. So what I'd be looking for is that here. Uh, with this uh, Queen of Pentacles and the Four of uh, Swords. I kind of get the feeling, Pisces, maybe you're doing this. I get the feeling this is like a, a really kind of um, present uh, reading. I mean, this could all be kind of new uh, for you. Um, the last couple months, within the last year for sure. Because I, I look at this as a big reading, try to get an idea where you're coming from. And, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, I, I, I wish I could show these all together. I feel like this is you that trying to get, like, a handle on this. Because you're really doing work. You're really making effort here in terms of manifestation. Maybe you're kind of ahead of me. And what this is, is trying to bring to this, this uh, uh, balance, this solid energy. Uh, and what's the big thing about the Queen of Pentacles knows her own value knows her self-worth. There's no such thing as a lack mentality with the Queen of Pentacles. It's like the complete opposite of a lack mentality. And this is healing. Um, so, I mean, that could to me imply walking away too um, um, into this uh, energy. It's a little bit like the moon. Um, it's kind of a reserved energy. It's a, a pulling away energy. Um, you kind of see both pictures are similar. They're like sleeping. Um, I just I get this feeling like you're trying to get a handle. If you're watching this, could be you're really you're reading. If you're relating to this, um, there's this uh, this dynamic going on, and I'm more and more thinking this is going to be this fire sign coming in for you, which works for you guys, especially because you got the lovers here. Now and now you've got the lovers over the eight of cups. I kind of it's kind of the same energy it's like you're really trying here and now with this this is looking at venus energy the mars energy how you love um, how you want to exert your exert your will uh you know and your sexual energy um and it looks to me like again you're really focused on love and relationships and you're really trying here emotionally i mean i always look in terms of manifestation I look at the Eight of Cups as the walk away card, walking away. Normally it shows someone, you know, walking away, walking off into the night, right? Under the light of the moon. Um, <clears throat> and so, again, it's, um, I almost see this as kind of like, did, did you guys, please leave me a comment. I would love that if, if this, if you relate to this. Did you guys go through some process of like kind of uh, manifesting and working through it? And kind of doing something about like what I'm talking about because this shows to me like an adjustment here this shows to me like you're back to the manifestation focusing on the love but emotionally trying to walk away and emotionally walking away is maybe I think what I'm saying you need to do with the moon in terms of make the manifestation work 
And so now we see the, uh, and it's in the position of the unconscious on the bottom. Um, so I get the feeling like you've really been working on this. And with the eight of wands and the nine of wands, you've got someone coming in. It, pro it You know, it could be long distance, but mainly it's a fire sign. And I mean, they're coming at you just as hard as they can here and it's next to the lovers um, so it's like pay dirt I would say um, and a fire sign you know sun by sun energy goes well uh, with Aquarius energy um, but with the nine of Pentacles um, there's an element to the person uh, that's coming in uh, that's like too much too much this eight of wands is too much for you I'm going to clarify that because that's what I'm getting. Um, you might have the sense like um, uh, this is what you want. I think it's coming next to the lovers. Um, it's like you really got like, I don't know how you would put it, like a live one. on. <laughs> you really caught a live one. Uh, this would be someone that's, uh, if they're at any kind of distance or coming to see you, get in a car and driving, get in a plane and flying, uh, whatever they have to do. Uh, and making it very clear that they're into you. Um, but I get the feeling with this Nine of Wands that this is like you feeling like it's something about it that's too much, too much. And I think that's a little bit of a red flag for you, um, this uh, Nine of Wands here. A little bit of a red flag. Um, it's like they're just coming in a little too fast, a little too hot. You know, could kind of be the en energy of like, you know, what have I done? I'm getting, what have I done here? Um, Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Mm, really count that in this reading, but I'm going to keep it in mind. And the King of Swords. Yeah. So this is you, King of Swords. I mean, that's Aquarius. I mean, so you've probably got Aquarius energy in you. But I think this is you here. And you're going to step up if you're not already. And you're going to be very direct in how you deal with this. Um, and that's definitely what you're being invited. Look at the size of that sword. So this is you um, basically like calling them out. Um, I got the feeling right now, it, this is not necessarily a deal breaker. It's like you, you have to be very direct and talk to them about what you're feeling in terms of being a little uncomfortable, feeling like there's a red flag. Not to use a red, red flag, but you could say like, you know, I, I feel like you're coming on awfully strong for something just starting. And this is so fire sign. This is somebody with this Eight of Swords. I mean, they're going from like zero to 100 like that. Um, and I mean, it could be like, I love you. Especially with the lovers here. Look at how be beautiful this lovers card is. You know, I'm not sure you're entirely unhappy with it. It's just, I think what this is saying is you really need to take control of this situation. And you need to be kind of dominant in terms of communication. And you need to really talk to them about what's going on. Let me try to get another beat on this. And the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. And slow it down. I think that's what you want. Um, wait, when you're going to talk to them, it's going to slow it down. And you want to, um, you know, you may say something like, you know, but we, we haven't even really dated yet. You know, like you might say to this fire sign something like, you know, we uh, zero to 100, you know, we just met and you're already, you know, kind of wanting to marry me and everything. And you're telling me you love me and I'm interested, but I want to be clear here and I want to take my time and approach this like the Knight of Coins here, you know, because the Knight of Pentacles is classic, especially this one. It just looks like a very astute Knight of Pentacles, right? Uh, like he's a, maybe that's a retired Knight you know, um, and he's uh, uh, at some kind of a special occasion, right? He doesn't really look like a real, a young, real knight. Um, and he's got this, he's got his coin like right there on his heart. So I feel like you're saying like, I'm, I'm interested and I want to do this to your person here. Um, and positive, it's a fire sign, guys. Um, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, sometimes, you know, it would be emphasized, you know. My girlfriend's an Aries, but she's a Pisces moon. A Pisces moon is profoundly important in her and so obvious about her. So something like that. Maybe they're an air sign. Maybe they're an earth sign. But they have like a, um, you know, Venus and Mars and um, 
fire and that's why they're so fast you know um, and you you want to slow this down and, and and with the knight coming with the king it's like this is you really taking control like completely taking control of this um, and I'm almost getting like you have to take control this these are actions knights are actions okay so you know you have to kind of basically like assert yourself um, and um, you kind of you you know you you were the one that manifested this you, if you're not a manifester it's not your reading you're not like actively into manifesting I don't think so because that that's definitely indicating you're someone that's trying to manifest this you know um, but now let's just think about kind of what's happening if you're kind of going in this and I think you're trying to make the adjustment you're getting more grounded and more directed towards of your manifestation um, but you're kind of going into it uh, um, feeling lonely feeling like you really need someone really want someone and you're what you're getting I think with this is someone that's coming in that feels a little desperate a little too quick and isn't that maybe kind of the the shadow side of this energy maybe you've been trying to get a handle on and so my advice is I think exactly what what this is saying you know really get clear really be clear be direct be kind of commanding here with the king of swords and then take control of this and slow it down and have it move at the pace you want I mean if you're the one that manifested it and I get the feeling like they're probably going to go along with your lead you know if, if you uh, come in strongly and communicate strongly and assertively and show interest and just take this kind of control um, you know um, I think this person is going to go along with it you know it's what I see here guys so let me know and now keep in mind um, this person um, this could be future energy you might not have seen this person yet uh, but this is a December reading so sometime in December this will be coming in like for sure guys so let me know what you think of that that's my last reading for December um, and uh, give me like thumbs up um, share if you can think of anywhere that you might could share this it sure would help me out any platform where it might be uh, relevant and please do subscribe hit the bell if you haven't thank you guys